Good morning friends, welcome to Shekhan Pre-Market Roundup, first in the global markets. Yesterday when we closed, most of the European markets were trading in red by around half to one and a half percent across the board, whereas the American markets were showing in flattish opening and finally by the end of the day, the European markets with some sort of recovery closed in mix with a uh, few closing in red and few in green, whereas the American markets uh, closed almost flattish with Dow being only uh, down by seven points. Whereas uh, coming to our markets yesterday, we saw huge volatility with Nifty at one point of time being up by around 120 points, that is one and a half percent, and from there on, springing on the lower side and going in red by around half percent, which is up, uh, almost two percent drop from the high. Uh, but towards the end of the day, we saw surge again, and Nifty finally managed to close up around over 100 points, whereas uh, Sensex was up around 350 points uh, by the end of the day. On some important uh, news from the global front. Chinese data has been weak uh, with industrial production, uh, retail sales and fixed uh, asset investments all being uh, in the in the lower side. And uh, coming to our markets again, uh, yesterday FIs were selling by around uh, 71 crore rupees in cash market whereas domestic institutional investors were buying around 54 crore rupees in uh, cash market. FIs and index future were uh, selling by around 6 to uh, 49 crore rupees. Now let's have an update on derivatives. Uh, good morning friends, uh, let's have an analysis on derivatives. Uh, in SBS market we have seen, uh, uh, despite negative cues from the international markets, we have seen Nifty opening up with a gap of opening of around 40-50 points uh, due to uh, gains in many heavyweight sectors like banking, banking being the outperformer in SBS trade, uh, followed by automobiles, uh, uh, followed by automobiles, oil and gas and fast moving consumer goods. Uh, later on in the in, in the mid part of the trade, we have seen Nifty inching higher and making new highs and uh, posting around century odd gain. But however, uh, uh, however, in the post afternoon, we have seen Nifty nose down in the negative territory uh, uh, due to losses in many uh, heavyweight sectors like uh, in, uh, in metal sector with the un underperformer. Uh, due to which we have seen Nifty uh, 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 making new intraday low. But however, in the last one hour of trade, Nifty again uh, inching higher. And have made uh, and have uh, uh, successfully made closing above 8,200 levels at 8,250, posting again a uh, century or ga uh, gain or levels and was up by around one and a half or percentage. Now next week said there was a volatility of more than 300 points and we uh, did expect it as uh, seeing the FIS data and seeing the options activity and volatility index. Uh, we did expect it, uh, that volatility in the coming trading sessions will be higher and we can expect more volatility in the coming trading sessions. On the open interest terms, there was one one percentage unwinding in open interest, that is around 1.52 lakh shares were uh, shared in open interest, uh, indicating short covering was observed by market participants uh, with increase in cost of carry, uh, which increased from 1.5% to 4.5%, that is Nifty premium, uh, which uh, came a lower level, uh, which was at a lower level of around 4 odd points in day before yesterday's trading session. Uh, and yesterday's trading session, we have seen premium inching higher to 50 naught points, uh, while the put call ratio in line with the, uh, the sharp upside seen by the market in yesterday's trade of around 100 points. We have seen put call ratio have inched higher around 3 odd basis points from 0 0.96 to 0 0.99 levels. However, volatility index continues to inch higher, indicating uncertainty in the market still persists. Uh, the volatility index uh, have closed 1 percentage higher to 20.69 and have been continuously going on the higher side. <clears throat> on the options activity, uh, uh, out of the money call options, that is 8,300 and 8,400 uh, strike price has seen a good amount of uh, uh, reduction in open interest due to which we have seen a sharp uh, upside in the put call ratio uh, which indicated that put have seen significant amount of addition. Simultaneously call have been uh, reducing their positions uh, in open interest. While input option uh, out of the money strike price, that is 7,800 and 7,900 have been quite active and has started seeing uh, some amount of uh, uh, positions while in, in the money and in the money strike price of put option have, have uh, showing an unwinding while out most of the position which has been taken in SP trading session and put option was on the out of the money strike price that is 7,900-8,000 uh, put option indicating market participants who are long in the market have been hedging by buying out of the money put option and yes, however 8,000 put option remains as the highest in terms of open interest in the put strike price while in the call, uh, 8,500 remains as the highest in terms of open interest for the series. There is only one, se uh, one security in bank period for today's trade, that is Century Textiles. Uh, now, interestingly, in the FIS front, and yesterday said despite 100 points gain, we have seen index, uh, FIS have gone short in index futures. Uh, uh, there were net sellers uh, in index futures of around 650 or crores, 
and the open interest of FIR index which is went up by 7 odd percentage and you did some short positions getting built up by them at higher levels. Uh, index options they were net buys of 500 or crores while stock futures they were net buys of 428 crores and stock options they were net buys of 65 odd crores. Our five days view of stands at 8200 with a lower range at 8150 and higher range at 8400. SDX is trading up at negative uh, indicating a flattish, uh, flattish opening can be expected in today's trade. As this increase is negative by 7 odd points at 8250. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now let's have a look at some of trading ideas for the day. The first idea being Ashoka uh, uh, IRP Infra. As of the media reports yesterday, government has allowed developers to exit uh, highway projects uh, two years after the completion. This will give a lot of thrust to the sector and uh, will release around 4,500 crore rupees for investments. Action to be taken is long IRP infra with a stop at 226 for target of 237 and 242. Uh, the same idea for the Ashoka Bitcoin uh, also. Whereas in Ashoka Bitcoin, uh, numbers also came in yesterday, a lot ahead of the street expectation with uh, band being at 37.8 crore rupees versus 13.56 uh, crore YOY. And net sales being at 802 crore rupees versus 608 crore rupees, up around 32 percent. Action to be taken is long Ashoka Bitcoin with a stop at 150 for a target of 157 and 160. On some of the important news flow uh, for the day, yesterday the union cabinet has approved a massive rupees 20,000 crore uh, project for Namami Ganga program for the next five years for the conservation of, of the river. This is uh, necessarily for, this is effectively positive for uh, Wate Koba. Suzdal Energy has back order to set up 90 megawatt wind energy project for uh, renewable energy, renewable energy. CBI has registered preliminary probe against GMR and uh, Airport Authority of India to probe alleged irregularities in handling over operations of Delhi Airport. Lupin has acquired 100% stake in Brazilian company. Man Industries has uh, got worth, uh, orders worth rupees 150 crore rupees. WPI inflation is expected to come in at uh, minus 2.07 and it will be released later in the day, which is in evening at around 5 o'clock. New urea policy has been approved and the government has decided not to raise urea prices. This is as per the fertilizer minister's statement. UFO moves is uh, to get listed today. Gas subsidy option for under supplied uh, power plants ended with lowest price bid of around 1.75 per unit, positive for NTPC. On some of the results uh, update yesterday, we had capital first uh, quarter four numbers coming in at with PAT coming at 36.47 crore rupees versus 29.83 on YOY basis, a growth of over 20%. Considered uh, total income from operation was at 385 crore rupees versus 287 crore rupees YOY. Imami PAT at 138 crore rupees versus uh, 111, up around 24%. And uh, considered sales at uh, 554 uh, crore rupees versus 446, up around 24.2%. Penal Industries quarter four number was also uh, good, net profit being at 16 crore versus uh, 7.5 crore, so 7.4 crore is YOI. Some of the results uh, which are to be declared today are Kewal Kiran clothing at 12.7 crore rupees, Arvin 90.4 crore rupees, Jubilant Foodwork 30.9 crore rupees, Pad, Palatishna Industries 138 crore rupees, JK Tire 100 crore rupees, and Zyrus Wellness 23 crore rupees. Stocks with positive bias for the day are Dabur, Aisha Motors, Bank Nifty, and uh, stocks with negative bias are Just Dad, Nal Point, TVS Motor. Uh, prices are incorrect, we will correct the prices and send it to you. By, uh, uh, by mistake, we have mentioned lot sizes. Stocks of investment are Larson, Aditya Birla Nomo, TVS Motor, Infi, and Antarctic Cement. That's all, friends, from our side. Thanks and have a nice reading session.